You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back. Well, Ralph's Tavern has been an institution in Colony for decades. And now their owner is a finalist in a very special competition. We're joined right now by Lee Yata. Good morning, Lee. Welcome back. Good morning, ladies. Thanks for having me. So last time we had you here, Jill and I were trying Ralph's famous mozzarella and Melba mm -hmm. it was delicious. Ralph, tell us why you're here now. Um, I'm in a competition. It's uh, it's for a, chair, a children's charity. It's top bartender. Uh, right now it's for New York State. And I made it to the semifinals. And with the, the first prize is like a $10,000 grand prize. And then you're on the cover of the magazine and that kind of stuff. And I just, I just thought it would be something good for, you know, the local community. You know, we, we kind of get a bad rap around here. So, oh, I you know. about that. Oh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> How did you first hear about the competition, Lee? Um, well, one evening me and my wife were just hanging around and she was going through her phone and said, hey, there's a running for top bartender in New York State. I'm going to put you in it. I said, go right ahead. And here we are now. <laughs> and, and people know you from so many different local spots all across mm -hmm. the capital region. Tell us right. a little bit about your history if they're not familiar with um, it. My first bartending job was at my stepfather's bar right over here on Lexington Avenue in Albany because I, I needed a job. <laughs> I got thrown out of college and I had to go to work. So I started work there and then he had another bar in Colony, and then from there I went to Paulie's Hotel, and I've been at Ralph's Tavern since 1997. Wow. You've been in the business for a long time, Lee. What I find interesting about this, though, is you're the owner, mm -hmm. but you're also staying behind the bar five days a week. Right. Why do you decide to do that and not delegate? Because I can't find anybody to work, you know? Yeah. <laughs> what do no. you enjoy most about it, though? Everything. I. I dread going to work every day, but as soon as I walk through the door, it just changes <laughs> because everybody's a character. Everybody that works there is a character. All my customers are, you know, it's just it, that old saying, if you enjoy what you do, it's not really a job. Mm -hmm. It's not really a job. I'm not outside in the weather today digging a hole or, you know, putting up a power line or something like that. I, I basically get paid to have a good time and make sure everybody else has a good time. So it's, it's life's been good. You know? And I'm sure sometimes you're a people's therapist as well whenever they come to Ralph's yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, um, and you yeah. make sure everybody's glass is never oh, empty. Never. Yeah. <laughs> never empty. So That's a very good rule to have. On top of doing your bartending job and you're the owner of Ralph's Tavern, you also spend a lot of time giving back to your community and colony. What are some places that you've helped? Uh, we, do, we do a lot of work with the Ronald McDonald House, um, the Northeast uh, Food, uh, food Bank, mm -hmm. also... Sand Creek Middle School, Colony uh, High School, the police department, uh, several different uh, volunteer fire departments as well. Uh, we even sold swag this year with the Colony colors on it, with a Colony symbol on it, and that was huge. You know, they let us. You know, we we go to their, we sell at their uh, their homecoming game, that kind of thing. We got the coaches come in after the games, you know, and have a little pizza, a couple sodas, you know, things like that. So. so you're in the running for bar boss. Yep. Can the community vote for you? Oh, absolutely. Is, that, is this what you, this is all about? Is it all community engagement? Yeah, it's, it's all like uh, if you go to barboss.org, uh, you get a free vote every day. Tuesdays and Thursdays is two for one vote. So if you vote once, you get two votes. Uh, you can also buy votes as well. Um, but I don't really want to encourage people like, you know, spending their money on that. Mm -hmm. You know, just come on in and buy a beer instead. So mm -hmm. I'd rather have that. But the end game is we'd like to, you know, just just to have something positive for yeah. this area because like I said, it, a lot of people knock Albany. You know. Lee, I wanna mention that before we go to break, you said there are a lot of misconceptions about bartenders and people who may be in the bar industry. What do you wish people understood about you all? Uh, you know, we're not all, you know, I can't even, I don't even know if I can say it, but you know, like everybody thinks that we're just out partying, drinking, going wild every night. It's no, it's, it's a job. It's a hard job. You're on your feet 10 hours a day. You're running around. You're again, you're listening to people's problems, which that takes a toll after a while. But, you know, it's it's hard. It's it's a it's a difficult job. When people say to me all the time, when are you going to get a real job? I've had a real job, yeah. you know, so. And you may be a cover boy now. You never on know. On Bartender Magazine. <laughs> yes. We're going to see. <laughs> We're wishing you luck, Lee. Right. Yeah, we can't have, wait you. to have you back when right. you're announced Come on up. I'll get you some yeah. mozzarella sticks, all right? <laughs> oh, sounds, sounds perfect. Good. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. It's 956. We're going to be right back.